This is so cool. I had to quickly show you guys. I'm in the middle of all these wind farms and I've never been in the middle of wind farms like this before. Just surrounded by them. It is so cool. Have a peek. So many of them. There's loads over there too. Hey everyone, Patrina Shell here. Welcome to my channel. I am in the little town of Waterton in the Waterton Lake National Park. This place is seriously so, so beautiful. I've never been here before and I'm actually here for a professional development weekend with the Travel Media Association of Canada. It is a yearly event that I never miss and every year they have it in a different destination and always a super amazing destination. So this year it's here in Waterton and that is what brought me here but it also gives me a chance to explore some new territory. It is a very small community, just over a hundred people live here. I am staying at a hotel called the Bayshore Inn. It's actually on the shores of the lake which is really cool I'm looking out my window here at this beautiful view I'll let you have a peek not bad at all and I have this little table here where I can do some work enjoy a coffee and take in the view I'm on my way to high tea at the Prince of Wales Hotel on that hill over there. I'm pretty excited. That building has been here since the 1920s. It is an iconic landmark here in Waterton. So high tea's at 3.30. I decided to walk because it's such a beautiful walk around the lake. So I'm just enjoying my little stroll up to the hotel. This is my opportunity to get a little bit of exercise <laughs> before the high tea. So, uh, yeah, get my blood bumping a little bit. <laughs> Very exciting stuff, guys. You know, you can dress me up, but one way or another, you're still gonna find me trekking through the hills and taking in beautiful scenes of nature. I made it to the top, and all I can say is, wow, this is spectacular. The view up here is incredible, check it out. right behind me, the Prince of Wales Hotel. Time for some tea. ambiance in here it's very very cool we're just getting our food delivered now I started with a sencha green tea however I think it's just kind of like tradition or it goes better with the food to get some Earl Grey and have a little bit of milk so this is my next tea of choice to go with the food you have to check out the view the view is absolutely amazing it's pretty incredible just to sit here and look at the mountains was pure indulgence and every bite was so delicious but way too much so I actually took a little to-go box. I enjoyed all of it though. This hotel is stunning. The woodwork in here is incredible. They actually were giving us a nice brief history of the building and apparently all this wood is wiped down with pure lemon oil once a year to completely maintain it and yeah it's 
incredible. They were also telling us some of the ghost stories because apparently there are some ghosts that live in here. So it was a really interesting uh, tea time. Guys, just over there, you'll see some bears. That is so cool. The bears are just lounging around the grass. It's a mom and her cubs. Oh, there's the little cub. If you look right there, there's the cub. Oh my goodness. Seeing those bears completely just made my whole day. <laughs> that is so amazing. I love bears. I love animals. Um, but seeing like the little cubs and the mama bear, I am loving life, guys. The scenery here is absolutely incredible. Everywhere you look, you have a 365 degree view of this beautiful mountain landscape and it's just so peaceful and serene it's hard for me even to believe this place is something else I'm seeing like every corner that I turn there's more beauty to be seen it is absolutely amazing like there's no other words to describe it this is amazing we're going on a little hike right now because we have a couple hours to kill before our next event this evening so we decided we might as well get some exercise utilize this area to the fullest and enjoy a hike there's so many awesome hiking routes in this area. This is what everyone was telling me about before I came. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting up there and who knows, maybe we'll see some more wildlife and just take it all in. Exploring new hiking terrain with awesome people gets me pumped every time. I am literally just hiking away thinking how much I love life <laughs> because of this kind of stuff. is so awesome. It's so crazy though because when you look at all the trees here, you can see all the effects from the forest fire that happened here a couple years ago and it was a massive forest fire. Well, check this out. Yeah. living the dream that is for sure but yeah these trees really crazy um you can have a look and see check that out so is there another there. lake <laughs> yes it's up in that Hanging Hanging valley so you oh, see that it kind of goes up and it goes up in that valley up there yeah yeah, it might be like where that brown ridge is. Oh yeah. If I have any memory whatsoever. Is that where we're going? Yeah, it kind of switch backs up a little bit. Oh, I see the path there. Yeah. He's up the valley. You yeah, guys excited? So excited! So excited. <laughs> this is awesome. No bears. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No Don't jinx us. <laughs> but you can't see them really clearly if they're here. True, yes. Yeah. The visibility is fantastic. <laughs> That's our hike. 
it's super satisfying and those falls are actually quite beautiful. I have a soft spot for going up beside waterfalls and feeling that mist on me. If you watch my videos, you know. Highly recommended if you're in the Waterton area and want to do a mini hike, Bertha Falls is a good one to do. I also feel some exercise was necessary after that most amazing indulgence at the high tea. That was definitely an indulgence. Burning it off with a good hike is the way forward. I'm in my happy place. Another waterfalls. It's very exciting. This one's called Cameron Falls. It is a very, very short walk because it's pretty much in town, but the sound as you're walking up is quite soothing. <laughs> it uh, definitely amplifies as you're walking towards it. We're just hiking up to another viewpoint of the waterfalls. And on our way, we came across this. You can definitely see the after effects of the forest fire that was here a couple years ago. Totally crazy. <laughs> Legit, this is probably the most candy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, if you like candy, this is your heaven for sure. A mouse trap up there? <laughs> What'd you get? I got Reese's peanut butter Ooh. fudge. Very Looks nice. delicious. It it's does. made here. Right here. Right here. Wow. Very cool. And what'd you get? I got all of the tacky flavors. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Including boysenberry, which seems really cool. Nice. Never had boysenberry. And I got absolutely nothing. <laughs> to try some of the local cuisine here in Waterton so we're just walking through the downtown core and seeing what restaurants they have we want to try something we haven't tried yet and uh, we're just scoping out our options We decided on Trapper's Mountain Grill and it's a really cool little setting in here. Super cool ambiance and they're playing Dolly Parton who happens to be one of my favorite singers. I'll just put that out there. She was like my childhood idol. Now, I ordered this beer. It's the tallest skinny beer I've ever had in my life. It's local beer and I got ID. So my life is complete today. This is great. <laughs> give this a go. Wow. 
course, I'm only just joking. You don't need your passports. In fact, I dare say this will be the easiest border crossing we do anytime soon. And that is all thanks to this place being the world's very first international peace park. We are actually on a pie cruise and we have country singer Paul Brandt here and celebrity chef Julie Van Rosendahl. It's pretty cool Paul singing songs for us. We just crossed the border into the United States side and now we're back on the Canada side. It's been raining but the rain cleared and it's just a really cool experience. West Bears defend that East is the United the States border crossing. Side, just beneath the clouds. Right you can see there. Mount Custer. The other side of the United States borderline. That is the Hoops. And it reminds me of a song. <laughs> Can you remember what song that, that might be? On the Pie Cruise and Water Tower Food Festival. I am not going to sing. I'm going to continue to eat. You can eat. And I'm going to get. I'm going to, you are going to do interpretive dance before this day is over. Pie dancing. Good stuff. I dance like a lame. Alrighty, big smiles here. Three, two, and one. And one more. Three, two, and one. Cool. <laughs> so that was a pretty cool experience. What'd you guys think? Amazing. Amazing. So, cool. so good. Amazing. We all got to hear Paul Brandt up close and personal. He sounds good. He yes. sounds so good. Like his voice totally carries. When he's speaking normally, it sounds like he has a soft, quiet voice. As soon as he starts singing, like that voice is powerful. Yeah, yeah that was amazing. Super friendly person too. Bye. Our conference is coming to an end. It's always sad. Hi ladies! Bye! <laughs> this last few days here has been totally magical. This place is seriously amazing. I would definitely visit again and I highly suggest if you are in Alberta, around southern Alberta or anywhere in Alberta, come down to Waterton. This is well worth the trip. It is a place you will never forget. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like this video and before you go hit the subscribe button and that little bell button to make sure you are notified every time I post a video. We'll see you soon guys.